All right, it's 9 June. I need to build a ramp here on the sidewalk. Uh, so I cut some plywood and I put in some, uh, some of these posts with holes in them. And then they got screws that go in to hold the plywood in place. Uh, this one over here, I couldn't put a stake in. So I'm gonna throw a bag of sacrete on the side to weight it down to hold that so that, that didn't go too far. And hopefully, uh, this is kind of flimsy plywood for a concrete form, but uh, I'm not pouring it very thick, very deep, so hopefully it will hold. We'll find out, because if it busts out, I'm going to have a mess. But at any rate, that ramp will uh, get us, this is like seven and a half, eight inches high step, which is a little high, and uh, plus we got grandma now, so she's in a wheelchair, so uh, this ramp... Uh, should work out pretty good and uh, be able to get her up and down and then after that we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with these stairs over here because uh, they're too high um, and short horrible stairs all right so we got our handy dandy cement mixer out here getting ready to uh, mix up some concrete pour it and uh, see what happens hopefully that form holds and uh, for you guys that are doing this with a wheelbarrow and a shovel, I feel for you. But a uh, good cement mixer is a beautiful thing.
call it done right there. The, uh, it took 15 bags, no, 14, 16 bags uh, to do that short little ramp there. But uh, should work out okay. The, uh, that thinner plywood worked okay with the uh, all those posts driven into the ground to kind of hold it in place. Like I said, it was only about seven and a half inches thick at the deepest. Seven and a half, eight inches there at the top. And uh, so we're gonna call it done. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I do things I'm not an expert at. <laughs>